To prevent moths from eating my wool sweaters in the winter, I make these giant herb sachets that I stuff into all my closets to protect those trusty, treasured woolen garments. I did the research and what the moths detest are mints, rosemary, sage, oregano, cloves, lavender, and bay leaf. So that's what I try to gather and dry. So here we go. I have a nice mint patch where I cut the mint. Any amount is good and any size is good depending on what you're gonna put it in. And then a little bit of this mint, a little bit of oregano, I'm going to add some sage to my sachet herb mix. A little bit of different type of mint. Smells nice. And a spring of rosemary. And all of this I'm going to put together with the oregano and other mint. It's like an herb wedding bouquet. I'm going to tie it up with some cotton twine. It's actually the twine that you use for tying a chicken if you want to roast it. Voila! Then you might want to cut that and hang it up in a dry spot. Now it should take about two weeks for this to dry and then you will add to it cloves, bay leaves and lavender flowers if you have. If not, you can just add some lavender essential oil because wool moths really don't like that oil. How you know that your herbs are dry is that they're very crispy. You can just uh, squeeze them in your fingers and make them into powder, but they still have wonderful fragrance. You take them off you find yourself a pillowcase that may be an old pillowcase an extra pillowcase something you get on clearance hopefully organic cotton so you don't get the pesticides and gmos into your closet or your head <laughs> and uh, what you do is you stuff the herbs inside the pillowcase Now this might prove to be a tiny bit messy, but uh, it will clear your sinuses, that's for sure. Like that. And some additional ingredients that, that are really powerful and keep the bugs away and the moths away is whole cloves. So you can take a couple of these out and put them in your pillow sachet. And if you have lavender flowers, also dried, this is my lavender plant. You can see the flowers that I dried. It's growing in perfect harmony with the sage here. They survive even in minus 20, minus 30 degree weather here in the greenhouse. You might have a plant inside your greenhouse or outside and you dry those during the summer. So you just take a bunch. Lavender is very powerful. Also, it deters the fleas. So I like to put a drop of lavender essential oil on my dog's collar gently so it repels the fleas from them. But anyway, so you can put either or both this dry lavender straight into your pillowcase. And if you have essential oil, all you do is you just put a couple of drops inside and you close the whole thing. Oh, you could have something sticking out, no big deal. Like this. You grab some rubber bands. Close the pillowcase like this. You take a hanger, you hang it on the hanger, and you hang it straight into your closet between wool sweaters. And something like this will be fresh for at least a year. And after a year is gone, you take out the herbs, you put them into compost, you wash the pillowcase, and then you fill them with new dry herbs. For next year. Of course you can make a really nice small sachet and you can put that in the individual uh, coat packets or sweater packets. You don't have to go with it but I find that this is very practical and easy. When you finish with the pillow herb sachet all you do is you hang it in your closet between your sweaters or between your wool coats and there you go voila good for a year.